<laughs> Robin. All right, we have 12 uh, clips, Anthony, from Middle School Confessions. This was a show that was on HBO, what, last night? Last night, it, HBO. Thing. It debuted on uh, HBO. They'll run it another 10 times, don't worry. I can't mm-hmm. find it on the um, on their website. Well, it's a little, it's a little saucy. It's uh, quite racy, and if saucy. I must say. Saucy and saucy, racy. you think? Bit risque. It's very risque. And I'm amazed that these moms would allow HBO to film their, their slutty daughters in middle school. Yeah, well, if, they're, if they're, someone had to sign a release for that. I didn't understand that myself, watching the tape. Uh, the host, Samuel L. Jackson. Which is a little funny. Really? Yeah, he's talking about uh, uh, middle, middle school kids having, having sex. Which one's yours? It's the one that says bad mother. <laughs> His wallet. <laughs> Get my wallet out of there, Ringo. <laughs> it's the one that says bad mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is a show, uh, kind of a, an expose on middle school kids. What was that? Anywhere from 12 to 14 12 years 14. old. Talking about sex. Talking about giving hummers. Drinking and what they and do. Talking about digits. Digitally manipulated. And we don't mean math. Boyfriends. <laughs> right. And uh, one girl with the braces, the slutty girl. Ooh. And the other girl talking about how uh, she's uh, pure, let's just say, in every sense except the mouth. Same girl. Uh, Same girl. Braces yeah, girl? Big face full of braces. And she's just going to town. Going to town. And then the parents are talking. And and talking about how their kids, they don't know what their kids are doing, and then there it is. And, and you put this on HBO, you know these kids are going to go back to school. Hey, oh, 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 oh. hey, you're the BJ girl they from the HBO show. They don't tell you what schools they attend, do they? No, Norton, and thank oh, God no. they don't. <laughs> well, they did uh, tell us one school. Yeah, that was the, the gay the, kid. The gay middle school in Bellpool. Uh-huh. That uh, Stinky went to. Yeah. Stinky went to that school. Stinky went to the gay... I knew it! The gay it's, middle school. It's right around the corner from his house. So what? Oh, oh, my God. A gay kid came out of there. So what does that mean? I don't know. Look the at the school's gay. It was at one point. There's yeah, a pattern true. developing let's, here. Uh, right. Let's get Stinky in here for a sec. Stinky, you went to the, that gay school? You went to the gay middle gay. school. <laughs> Everyone's gay at that school. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I didn't see it, but... Yeah. Was it. anyone gay when you were in uh, middle school? Of course. You know, we were in middle school. Then. No, but you don't. It's gay people in school all the time. Ones you know, ones you don't know. But when I was you there. knew kids in middle school that were gay? I didn't know them as far as like... Uh, but you knew they were gay? Oh, absolutely. You didn't see kids that walk down the hall and you go, That's, that kid's gay. Yeah. Whether he knows it yet or not. He doesn't. He's a choreographer. <laughs> right. A they usually, uh, yeah, they, they, they help out in the plays. Yeah, they help out in the plays. But they're, they're not acting in it. They're no. doing the, you know, and, and one, two, two step, artistic. two, turn, two, step, right. two. And I didn't even know in high school who was gay. Swear to you. I can yeah, say, well, yeah. a couple of the theater guys, maybe, but yeah, exactly. I, I didn't yeah. know for sure. That's what I'm talking you about. Knew for sure people, you knew for sure kids in uh, middle school that were gay. Yeah, because yeah. Because you saw them. Um, they acted, I, uh, what do you call, uh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ant, did you say one of, the, one of those kids, like when you were young or something, hit on you or something? Oh, that was uh, in California. And that was, what, junior high or so? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, gay. Did he give you a mouthful of treat, did he? Ah, uh, <laughs> didn't get one. that, Jimmy. Get a good one. <laughs> get a good one. <laughs> get a good Come on up. Get a good one. <laughs> get a good one. Mr. <laughs> yeah, now there were kids in school that you knew. You just in saw middle walking. school. And you're like, ah, oh, the kid's gay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. No clue. Yeah, well, you got to be a little observant. They were usually very neat. Yeah. Right. Uh, Tiny white people. Well, very, kept. very friendly with some of the teachers. Mm-hmm. You well know, dressed. Like that. Well dressed. Mm-hmm. Tastefully right. appointed. Right. <laughs> they would talk about things that mm-hmm. uh, the rest of the kids uh, didn't talk about. Yes. You know, Broadway That's and whatnot. The graffiti kid, on the notebook was like, There's a kid who knew everything about, right, Broadway. <laughs> if, you were the, if you were in the play Pippin. Bye Bye Birdie, does that mean you were gay? Uh, depends on what you were doing. Were you the birdie? You were playing the girls. If you were playing some of the Bobby Soxers, I was, uh, I'd say you were a little gay. I sang a little. Did you? Really? I was uh, one of the singing teenagers there. What kind of an abomination <laughs> play was that? That they got Opie singing it. Were you really? Did they give you little blonde locks a tussle? <laughs> I was one of the uh, singers there. Uh, oh, yeah. Really? And I can't carry it to it. In the chorus? 
Yeah, we we had, were in the chorus. We had to sit in the chorus, chorus in the, the band. And work out, yeah. the, work out the songs and stuff. Uh huh. Oh. All right. <laughs> I had to sing and make believe I was on, you know, a telephone at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. No, that's not even remotely gay. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, very masculine. Yeah. Well, fine. Yeah. Did you live with Paul Lynn for a couple of years? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we got a clip of uh, Opie oh, on the go. phone yeah. at that time. Uh, How fat for a topper! <laughs> <laughs> bye bye, Bernie! <laughs> <laughs> Why is Stinky off the hook? He was gay in middle school. He grew out of it. <laughs> Stinky went to the gay school. The gay middle school. That's featured on the H. Yeah, so now these kids are back at school, and uh, now yeah. everyone is discovering them as the, you know, the, the people from the, the BJ girl the or BJ the gay girl. guy. You or... know, all the teachers saw that. And... Yeah. And then they showed the parents. They had a whole group where uh, the, of parents that were in this, went into the middle school at night, I guess, uh, with a sex education teacher. And the sex ed teacher is was talking to them. She had sex. I know. Oh. Did you see her? She oh. looked like a guy from the gay school. And uh, she's sitting there and uh, talking to these parents and saying things like, um, what would be acceptable sexual behavior for your children at this age? And then you get like the, the parent of the daughter that was given the Hummers is like, um, French kissing, like saying little things. It's like, nah, how about deep throating? Because that's what your, your gal is doing. Ah! Wait, you can't say that, Opie. <laughs> Brushing your teeth with that. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. I can't say that. Did you and learn that in the play? <laughs> <laughs> Was that a portion of Bye Bye Birdie? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> uh -huh. So we got some clips from uh, middle school yeah. confessions. The best part uh, of the, uh, the group meeting, though, quickly, with the, the sex ed teacher between the parents, mm -hmm. the men... The fathers sitting there as they're asking these questions. It's just like, I'm not hearing you, la, 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 la. Because what guy, because the second she starts talking about, do you know this, that, the other thing, blah, blah, blah. What, I can't say that? You I say can't oral. say it? Just say oral. I'm t mm, okay. Practicing uh, doing oral. Please, like that. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry. I had a, I had a curse right oh, there. I, I get so upset. They're dumping out like with crazy. what we have to say. Well, you got to protect the kids. You I know. know. I guess exactly. we could say they're innocent. We yeah. could say oral, but we oral. can't say oral. Don't blind. say that. Yeah. And yeah, you certainly it, it, can't no. say what Ann said. No, you can't no, say no, it, but no, if no. you go to middle school, you can experience it. You can it. do it, <laughs> right. Yeah. So the fathers are just, uh, they're getting these discussions, and you know they're just the images conjured up of their now, lovely little young gals when they doing this. When they interviewed the parents, did they know what the kids have said, or they just uh, and the, Some of them kind of had an inkling because of notes they found in uh, their clothing and stuff like that, but uh, I don't think they knew until this special that... You know, the brace-faced chick is, is hoffing uh, like crazy. Oh, God. And uh, the other one, the 12-year-old that was uh, getting the manipulation by the boyfriend, and she was horrified. She's like, I found out because some anonymous twat sent her a note that ratted out the daughter. And she's like, I got nauseous. Yeah, what a... And I got very nervous. And then when my daughter got home, I, I, I addressed her, I, I gave her the note, and she said, it's true. Oh. <laughs> so there's your little girl. Daddy's little finished. girl. <laughs> <laughs> what a tattletale, that friend. I know. Why your beeswax? God. Isn't that awful? Yeah. Somebody, it was, uh, it started, the note started, it oh. takes a village. So. What? Meaning that it takes everyone in the community yeah. to make sure everyone turns out okay. You know, that Hillary Clinton bull crap that she was spreading. My daughter got manipulated. Now I'm dodging her. <laughs> now I'm dodging her. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll be in Cleveland handing out bumper stickers. <laughs> Fuffering fuckatash. I'm boss. <laughs> Merz, what's up? Hey, I'm just calling us. Uh, I'll get rid of the rabbit and make it look like an accident. <laughs> Wondering why you guys sent that no talent hack Voss to thank us for your ratings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Mercy should have sent Voss to Washington. <laughs> I know that's, that's punishment. That's what I was thinking. You if know you what? Want to thank us. Send Norton. He rules. Yeah, Norton should go that's to Cleveland. Fair. Voss should go to Washington. That's how we right should on. deal with this crap. Chop the rabbit. He brought us here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mertz. 
Go, go see Voss. Uh, in, all, uh, in all seriousness, you're going to have a great time. All right. Improv, uh, I don't know, now, tonight, through well, Sunday, weekend. or whatever. Sure right. Okay. Hey, Rabbit, you want to buy a dryer? Door. <laughs> 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 so, uh, is the setup good? Can we get to the clip? Oh, fire? yeah, yeah, we do have clips. So I believe this girl that you're about to hear is 12 or 13 years old, Anthony. Oh, yeah? 12 or 13, right? Oh, right. 13. 13. 13. Tender age of 13. <laughs> One of... Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no pointing. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Here it is from uh, HBO, Middle School Confessions. At parties, while I'm drinking and I'm having fun, I think I engage in more sexual things than I would normally. <laughs> Sometimes I get really wild. Those were probably the most times that I've been taken advantage of by guys. I have woken up in the morning and just been like, I can't believe I did that. What's all that yelling in the back? It's that the party that they're at. Uh, yeah, they're at a party where it's nothing but... Uh, what uh, were these kids. parties when I was 12 and 13? You know something? Where are they now? Nothing but kids <laughs> Jesus, groping each other. This HBO thing, they had a camera around with 13-year-old uh, kids just groping each other, making out, copping feels. That one drunk girl on the couch clip, there's a guy, a couple of guys sitting on the couch. This drunk chick, her, her head falls right into his lap. She rolls over. You just see her eyes going, cuckoo, cuckoo, in her head. She smashed. Smashed at 12, 13? Yeah. And this girl talking, you heard what she just said. That's any hose bag anyone's ever known in their life. <laughs> and now instead of just maybe a few people in that school knowing, the country knows. Because she said, you know, I got a party. That <laughs> Who don't know a hose bag like that? Isn't this great news, too, all you soccer mom twats? What's <laughs> happening to your kids? Yeah, this, believe They're me. Drinking out of mules left and right. <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, O and A are bad people. Don't let them listen to that. Watch out for the video games and they're blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good for you, involved parents. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you know something? You bring up a great point because it, this wasn't some inner city school with kids that uh, were being neglected by their parents. This was all middle to upper class yep. white kids going to parties at these nice houses of uh, their friends and stuff and just hobbing knob. Nice village you live in. They, they, they're saying that, <laughs> they, and you know something? Even the slut ones are, are virgins. They're saying, you know, hey, I didn't give that up. You know, that's like a way to rationalize it. They don't give that no, up. That would be wrong. But, I mean... More more mm -hmm. icing than a strudel cake on their you know, face on any given I th night. I think intercourse is wrong, but I would rather, you know, gobble love snot. That's right. fine. That's it. That's a treat. That's what they're doing. Because they can't tell them no to parents. Well, I want to have communication with my... And they don't tell them no. And I'm glad they don't tell them no. The more kids that do this, the happier I am. I love it when these stupid parents are... Conf That's why sitcoms suck. Because I have to hear about your kids and what they're going to hear. Right. And I love what they're doing behind your dumb soccer backs. Except for the job, uh, Adam. <laughs> no, the that's job. not a sitcom. I don't count that as a sitcom. Nice. That's, that's, that's a dramedy on at 9.30 this evening on Channel 7. Yeah, it's right. A, it's a that's dramedy. Different, man. That's Drama different and show. comedy. That's not, that's, not, that's not like a bunch of cutesy little dialogue. Like, uh oh, look what Schwimmer is doing. This stupid underdog no, We would have the 12-year-olds on the show. <laughs> hey, uh, Matt's a teacher. Matt, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. It's Mark. Someone hit Stinky. He's just not listening. All right, Mark. Sorry. No, nah, no problem. Uh, I'm a seventh grade uh, teacher on Allen, and I am not surprised about any of this at all. What grade I mean, do you teach? So, uh, it doesn't matter. Seventh. <laughs> um, seventh or so? All right. Seventh grade. They're, they're 12 years old. And the stuff they talk about in the hallways, guys, just blows my mind away. Yeah. I mean, I'm 25, and when I was in seventh grade, all I cared about was, like, baseball and the Coffee Warriors on Nintendo. No, I'm not going to go that far, because I, 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 obviously... Uh, Everyone was very, very, uh, w you wanted to have sex at that age. You're in middle school, yeah. and it's raging yeah. hormones, which Absolutely. they mentioned, and you wanted to have it. But you know something? It wasn't yeah. there. It wasn't as easy. No. Oh, some people were getting it. That's fine, you know, and you'd, you'd pick and choose and get some stuff here and there. It's part of growing up. I had nothing to pick and choose from. But these parties that they were showing on this uh, HBO special, where they're drinking and... and uh, d manipulating each other. Dude, I lived four houses away from my middle school when I was in like seventh, eighth grade. On lunch break, because I had a Rolodex going all day, I would yeah. run home on lunch break, scrap, 
and then run back and feel guilty like all the other kids know what I just did. You scrap. Yeah. That's that is great. Scrap. Yeah. Scrap. I'd go home and I would go back and feel like the other kids all knew what I just did, but I would look and think of all did, the tiny's I saw. Filthy guy. You filthy. Hey, you want to hear another clip from middle school yes. confessions? We got plenty of these. All right, uh, blah, 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 check this out. We haven't been going out very long. I mean, it was sort of my first time. We were over at her house with, like, a whole group, and um, we were in a bedroom alone together. So things got kind of out of control, and we were making out and stuff, and he ended up going down my pants. At first, I told him not to because I didn't want to, and... And then, um, but he did it anyway. And, you know, it did feel good. And I did enjoy it. Oh. By the way, the girl you just heard, 12 years old. 12. What? 12. 12. Michael Mark. What? Where is she? What's her number? <laughs> 12. Talking about going to parties. Two. Get in the room. Did now, this is stuff I absolutely you? recall happening at parties. 15, 16. Yeah. That age, you know? Mm -hmm. You're going to the party, you're doing that. 12? Yeah, no. At 12, I, I, I distinctly remember uh, <laughs> a, a, great, a great day was a, a Bic lighter and plastic army men in the woods. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or a magnifying glass and an anthill. And some bugs. <laughs> sure. You got, we got to get Nick on the line here. <laughs> Nick, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. What do you got? What's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, man. How's it going, buddy? I got a brother who's in middle school, and a couple weekends he's asked me to pick him up liquor. He comes home the next day after sleeping over at Buddy's house. He's got better stories than I do on a weekend. <laughs> yeah, right? See? He's this walking. weekend, he's got planned on seeing Norton at the stress factory. <laughs> Free plug, Norton! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you suck. Yeah, they, I uh, didn't say a word. You went from whore to pimp. <laughs> <laughs> And there were always uh, girls that would do this yeah. in, in certain schools or anything, but they were the ones with the bad rep, uh, you know, uh, the rumors of the girl would be like that, and it wouldn't be uh, a lot of girls. Now it just seems, oh my God, this is the... If you could get a Hummer in junior high, you, you would have been king of the junior yeah. high. And you would have to tell everyone, because there's one girl, I think we're going to uh, have her clip in a little bit. She was surprised that the guy told everybody else at school. Things changed. <laughs> Things flip-flopped, because I remember it was a lot easier to get laid than it was to get uh, a Hummer back in the day. When I was 12, I didn't even know they would do that. Forget about even getting it. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know that was. I didn't know that was part you of. You didn't know that was no possible. Clue. I didn't know that was one of the. Oh, I, knew, I was looking I, at hardcore yeah. pornography. I knew there was, was a like world eight, out there. Yeah, exactly. Eight years old. I'm looking at hardcore. But, you, but you, you'd find it in the woods, and it was rained on, and the, the pages with the were, color pages. It was like all <laughs> smutty black and white pictures, yeah. and then in the middle there were maybe six color pages mm -hmm. with just nasty hardcore C shots all over the. The uh, face and everything, right? I, was, what, I used what? to steal Wee magazine. This is seventh grade. Three. Yeah, yes, Wee and Penthouse out of a um a machine. I would take a screwdriver and Jimmy the machine and steal yeah. it and just go home and arc them all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> guys are acting like what? I mean, they was kissing in the high school. What are you talking about? Those are the days you'd get, you'd get a good magazine. You'd go once and then follow it up right away. Pia Zadora. Um, keep going. Oh, the Pia Zadora issue that was in the, the bathtub. Weeb. I don't remember. Oh, the yeah. I remember the bathtub. Oh, Piazza. yeah. Yeah, sure. Piazzadora. Sure. Uh, Kevin from D.C. I don't know if this is true. Kevin? Hey, O&A, man. What What's do you up, got? Morton? Hey, sir. Hey, swear to guys. I swear to God, guys, this is true. It's about uh, about a year ago. Kid was 14 years old, like a white suburban middle school in uh, like the suburbs of D.C. This kid was running a little prostitution ring out of his high school. He had a handful of high girls. High school? Mm. Or middle school. Middle school. 14 years old. So what, about eighth grade ah, or whatever? Yeah, there you go. Swear to God, he was running this prostitution ring. He had about eh, about ten girls, I guess. Because I could really see how kids that age would think it was cool and kind of fun and kinky and and, and uh, uh, something you're not supposed to do. What's, what's exactly. How much was he asking to see somebody? Norton loves these the quotes. Price, but, uh, <laughs> Make sure they have a feminine back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a large back for a gal. How you doing? We got our pleasure menu. I'd like to see it. Girls do enjoy tipping. <laughs> 
All right, Kevin. Uh, thanks. Hey, hey, thank, hey, well, I'll let you guys something know. I, I've listened to you guys since you came on the radio, man. Keep up the ratings. You'll be there one day. Don't worry. Uh, uh, thank you, Gipper. The rumor, <laughs> is, the rumor is they're not giving us much time. So. Yeah. Nah, don't worry about it, guys. You'll make it. Take it easy. Or much more time. All right. Want to hear Freud, from, Freud from Jersey? He's saying at 12, didn't party mean you were going to the roller rink for someone's birthday and ice cream cake? Hell yeah. yeah. Now partying is... Why? <laughs> 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 Here's another clip from middle school confession. All right. I think this is another 12 or 13 year old, right? 12. 12. 12. 12. 12. Right. Yeah. I think personally the sexual things that you could do is like have a guy f*** you and you like maybe like give him a handy and like I think like it's okay like if like he fills you up and you guys like make out that like at this age but I just don't think it's okay like to go like all the way see there's the rationale that was never in place when I was in school it's perfectly acceptable there was either girls that did it or did not do it it was that's why you effed and you got the Hummer and you got the whole package, but it was very hard to get. Now it's broken up a la carte. Mm -hmm. The girls are a la carte. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't have the uh, V. We don't have V on the menu tonight, but we'd be happy to give you the Hummer and the Handy <laughs> if you want to take that out. And, um, well, let's see what's on the back of the menu. Flip it over. Because that's acceptable, too. As long as the, uh, the V I, is kept fresh. Can I substitute the digital manipulation for the fries? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I'll write that down. Let me check with the kitchen. Even though it's a school night, is that possible? Yes. Can I get something delivered? <laughs> so now it's all divvied up. And the Hummer is turned into something a that greeting. Was akin to maybe uh, making out. Yeah. You know, now it's like, hey, I don't go all the way. But, yeah, I'll throw you that. Oh, jeepers. Oh. Gee, you bitch. <laughs> Who wouldn't be skipping la 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 through the hallways the next day All right, if I'm, girls were doing that? I'm 35. My last Hummer cost me a tennis bracelet. All right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. We have lots of these clips. We'll play one more before we take a break. All okay? right. What is this one? Middle School Confessions from the HBO show. Uh, this is a little clip about Oral. From oh. A, oh right. From a 12 year old. That's something here. new. I think Oral. Is okay to do because it's not a intercourse, and um, I just feel that it's okay. <laughs> I don't know why. A foreign trooper. <laughs> Isn't that? And a girl. It's like a psycho. That makes me want to have kids. I'm gonna oh, how in much? What? In what way? No, that no, makes no. me want you to have kids. I'm happy. <laughs> Is the, it's amazing. Imagine the parties. <laughs> These are kids. I'll babysit Norton. These are kids that were on camera, nothing blocked out. You didn't have any uh, right. digitizing mm -hmm. of the face or anything. These now not electronically <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the parents of these girls that you just heard are on there talking about sex. What, is that something to do to your to your kid? Yeah. If she's doing it, hey, what are you gonna do? You know. But then to splash it all over HBO, if I may use the term, <laughs> splash, yeah. uh, it just seems to me like, like the, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. What's the bumper sticker say? My kid's a hose bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ask me about my slutty granddaughter. <laughs> Proud to be the parents of a receptacle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, yeah. my daughter gave a Hummer to an honor student. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me about my sea dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that girl can suck the color out of a marble. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They seem very fine with uh, with this going on. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Check, hey, how you check doing this out. Me? All right. Hey, man. Hey, I got the story. My brother, he was 10 years old, and he had this little teeny bopper girlfriend. Guess they were at his ho her house, and their parents weren't there. Girl starts giving him a hummer. My brother starts looking around like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Oh, my God. Kid had no idea what, he, what was going on. <laughs> no. Teeny Bopper is giving away hummus like Tic Tacs these days. <laughs> right. Look at this. Matt from Jersey has a whole timetable. Yeah. He goes, uh, I'll settle things right now. Here's the timetable. 12 handies, 13 uh, hummers, starting of booze. At 14, you get the digits. Mm -hmm. And the lucky ones have sex. Booze way up. Pot smoking starts. 15, more sex booze. Everyone smokes pot. 16, 
who hasn't at least gotten a uh, Hummer at this point? And then he says, Hummers are like promotional tools today. <laughs> it's like a throw out, a promo that you throw out there to let people know what they're in for. Like a keychain. Right. <laughs> it's a promotional tool. It's a mag light flashlight with your phone number on it. It's Here's a to know you. <laughs> Sally, uh, hey, how you doing? Sally's a class president. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, those school elections must be something these days. Uh, and we should take a break. <laughs> when we nice. come back, we got the clip, uh, the, the virgin talking about how she's a virgin except for her mouth. It's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah. She's got a tattoo on her chin that says merging traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Beware. Keep hands and feet away from the hopper at all times. How much? Middle school confessions yeah. continue on the Opie and Anthony Show deck. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. A big thank you to Buffalo today, Ant. Buffalo, you guys, uh, you rock, man. Buffalo gave us what Washington didn't. Yes. <laughs> Washington gave us the clap yesterday. Yeah. But Buffalo, man, wow. Buffalo was as sweet as a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> oh, God. I'm it for... Was... It Starring was, uh, in the job tonight, 9.30 on ABC. ABC. Season premiere. We saw Tonight's America. episode, Sacrilege. Sacrilege. That's the Quinn Martin voice. A Quinn Martin voice. Epilogue. Lisa wants in on this discussion. Lisa, what's going on? Hey, guys. I just have an opinion on uh, why these young kids are doing some serious fooling around. Yeah? You think maybe your show has a little something to do with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I hope certainly so. Helps. Our Thank show. You. Our show has something to oh. do with it. You little something to do That's with it? That's Lisa. No, maybe it's parents that uh, don't pay attention to their kids, don't do parenting, <laughs> and, and blame it on other things. Or maybe it's just slutty hose bags. Well, the guys are, too, from my opinion. I mean, they're looking for it. Guys are, too. Well, you think that's hot? No, that, I don't. That's supposed think... to sound sexy. No, I think parents are very responsible, but I think it also helps from their shows like your funny. Oh, shut up. Shut up. That's stupid. Don't Stop listen, it. you Oh, you're twat. so funny, guys. Yeah. How old were you? Keep listening. Lisa, Sorry, me? how old were you? Lisa, you sound really stupid because you're obviously listening to our show today. So yep. if, we, if, if we're not funny or entertaining, then why are you listening to the show? Because I'm very intrigued by what you guys are talking about. There it's you go. Really there you go. Thank Think you. Intrigued. It's a really Tell important your friends. subject. Tell your friends. So. Right. Point and tell you. Good luck to you and your pig children, stupid. Oh, you're sweet, Norton. I can see why more like people like you. Why are you talk with that stupid I know. fat girl God, high pitched lilt? Hey, Alex, maybe yeah. she's like a yeah, she be, she? stupid yeah. fat girl. Yeah. You got you guys finished now? No, stupid yeah. or not. Finished okay. now. We're not your boyfriend, so you can't kick us around and e e emasculate oh. us like oh. the twat you are. Poor guys. Are you finished now? Is That's that what, funny. Is that what your husband says? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm finished. Finished you. now? Good yeah, girl. you are. Hang up and Go suck. Ahead. Bye bye. Okay. Bye, bye. bye bye. Bye bye. Nice try, Lise. Nice try. Bye bye. Keep listening, though. Yeah, intriguing. That's a we, that? we certainly could use the listeners yeah. in the D.C. area. That's the girl that scrubs the toilet right after you beat her. That's what I like. <laughs> I listen because I'm intrigued. I scrub because it was dirty, and he Ugh. hit me. Ugh. At least she knows my name, though. She must be listening. She listen. You could, you heard it. Well, yeah. Danny shows like you. Sorry, guys. Oh, imagine having to go home to that voice. Ugh. So. I guess it wasn't important enough to do that. You know, with the fake uh, laughing lilt yeah. to the voice when she's pissed off, yeah. but she puts on that, well, why wasn't the lawn cut today? Yeah. I guess other things were too... Bam in the face! You know what that is? That's, that's, <laughs> that's trying... That's passive-aggressive. Yeah. Because for many years, Daddy snuck into the room at night, <laughs> so you really never learn how to express your anger at men. <laughs> call back, <laughs> stupid, and just say, it sucks, I hate you. Have some courage. Yeah. Don't call up and try to be smarmy and smug. You're not bright enough for yeah. it. Smarmy. Yeah, but that yeah. smugness is... You're not, you got to be really smart to pull that off, and that lilt gave you away, All right, dummy. More clips from Middle School yeah. Confessions, Back the show the that rise. was on uh, HBO last night, okay? <laughs> yes. 12, 13-year-old girls rise. talking about uh, <laughs> stuff. Stuff. 
Yeah, this was some. Uh, this is the Virgin Girl. girl. The Virgin Girl, Anthony. Virgin uh, Girl. How old? 12, 13. I think she's 13, this one. Yeah. 13? Yeah. This yeah. Is 13. Listen, what's going on? I'm cheating. I've never slept with anybody. I'm still purely virgin. Mm-hmm. Except for my mouth. <laughs> Can you, I didn't hear that. Porno you, music in I, the background. I didn't hear that. Could you replay that? <laughs> I'm cheating. I've never slept with anybody. Never slept with anybody. I'm still purely virgin. Except for my mouth. Uh-huh. Okay. Ooh. Right. I, and you know why? It's because of this show. Yeah, that's it. And it has uh, MFP fluoride, so it's good for your teeth. <laughs> I hope at it that is growing age. Show. You know how great that would be? Yeah. <laughs> it's our show. It's- Chrissy. Yes. Hey. Yeah. I got to tell you guys thank you because I got a 13 year old daughter. And I'm now never Are letting her out of the her? house. <laughs> Sorry, what? You're not no. letting her out of the house? Never. No, no. Thank yeah. you for... Uh, I didn't see this on HBO, and I'm do you hearing know, this now. And I'm, Chrissy. I'm messing myself. Chrissy, do you know what she's up to, if anything? I keep a pretty tight rein on her, so yeah, I think I know what she's You know something? To. So did these parents, man. <laughs> you watch this special. Don't it's like, tell me that. Oh, my God. Does she go over friend's house? Yeah, of course she does. Does she ever spend the night? Yes, she does. Ooh. Get her draw wired. Do you know? I <laughs> draw <laughs> on the job tonight at 9.30. Don't even say it. Does she have friends that maybe you'd prefer she didn't hang out with? Not anymore. Not anymore. She like did. Not anymore. She did. She, she used did. to hang out with them. There were a couple of girls that I mm-hmm. would say, put my foot down. You get it? She fell in with a fast crowd. Mm-hmm. No, not anymore. No, huh? No, no. And what's, what's the worst no, thing you that you... What? What's the worst thing you caught her doing? I haven't caught her doing anything really bad. At this point, her and her girlfriends that, that she's around now, they they talk about having crushes on boys. But, crushes. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, yeah. any house parties that she goes to, there's parents there. Yeah, sure. And anything else is a house school party. activity. House parties at 13. Yeah. House party. Look the roller rink. Mm-hmm. All right, huh? well, All right. looks like Chrissy's doing a good job no, parrying, though. She is. She's yeah. doing the best she can. Right, God, Godspeed and good luck to you. Good luck thank, to you. Thank you, guys. I mean it. Thank you for playing this. All right, Chrissy. Well, this next clip is going to make you drive off the road, so <laughs> <laughs> hold on tight, all right? All right. All right. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, this is a uh, girl talking uh, about Oral Anthony. All right. 12, 13. 13. 13. With Oral, <laughs> it's really kind of fun to do because um, when the guys get it they kind of give you more attention for it and they're really happy with you and stuff like that (laughs) sure they're happy with you oh and they give you more attention attention. they learn young yeah that's a healthy home life jesus boy they give you more attention boy i hope sandy's listening (laughs) (laughs) oh my god Dude, she's going to slap your face, man. You know what's sick? I'm going to ask my girlfriend. Now you got to punch him. Now I got to punch him. You got to punch him. Not hard this time. <laughs> but that's actually a good point. Ah. The, ah. the kid oh. raises a good point. Yeah. I mean, you want love and attention? Well, <clears throat> what are you bringing to the table? Hey. <laughs> you know, a lot of these girls, I think some of the clips they play later, they're saying this, that uh, they don't want the guys to do anything to them. They don't want... They, wanna they don't want to receive. Be left alone. They just want to give... The Hummers. Right. Because, you know something? If you're a guy and you're laying back and you're getting that, and, and, and believe me, at that age especially, how thankful uh, you are mm-hmm. at that, that girl is, is a goddamn princess right yeah. there. Yeah. What she's doing. And and they could see it in the way you're you know wrong? lifting your ass off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? So, uh, of course, they're going to dig doing it. (laughs) (laughs) More uh, commentary on oral, Anthony. Where'd the upholstery go? (laughs) Oral in the middle schools. Ah, right? From Middle School Confessions from HBO. Yeah. My boyfriend and I were going out for about six months before I gave him... (laughs) And... I get, we liked each other a lot. It was kind of like, I At can't first. believe I did that, but after I was like, okay, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Little giggles. Yeah. <laughs> so I, like it, I like it when they giggle. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Unfortunately, they giggle right when you take your pants down. It's not good. Yeah. <laughs>
And they point and squint. <laughs> Where is it? Things point like and that. Squint. Nothing like a fond girlish giggle, though. It looks like one only smaller. <laughs> when they say that, it's uh, bad. Uh, one day wow. that'll get hair. <laughs> Oh. You know, it's it's just <laughs> oh. wow. awful. It's amazing what? that they put this on TV. What are the parents thinking? That's what they're saying about our radio show out there. Ain't I'd be like, yeah, you know something? <laughs> it's amazing they put this on hey, the air. I'm all for it. And I'm not talking about telling HBO they shouldn't air this right. or any kind of censorship. I'm talking about parenting and going, if you get a, a kid that's saying this on TV... Uh, in front of a camera, and you then uh, uh, sign a release that says, yeah, fine, because the kid can't sign the goddamn release. The parents got to sign oh, it. can It'll be in crayon. <laughs> the parents got to sign it. Oh, yeah, put my daughter talking about how she hobs it on uh, television. I'm sure uh, it's going to be great for the father when he goes to the office mm. on Monday. Yeah. It's not like uh, HBO's catching on or anything. I don't think the neighbors have it. Hey, Tom, <laughs> isn't tomorrow bring your daughter to work day? <laughs> hey, hey. It's just a I'll fan. bring the lube. Bring, bring your... your daughter to work day tomorrow there, Bob. I saw your daughter on HBO last night. We're all eagerly awaiting by the water cooler. Yeah. What's it? Bring your little whore hose bag to work day Stup tomorrow. Stupid parents allow it. Very this. stupid. Stupid parents. This I'm thankful. This one's that gonna, they're so stupid. This yeah. one's going to make some uh, moms uh, drive off the road. Anthony, the next clip from Middle School Confessions. Uh, okay. More about oral. People think that like that's going way too fast, but a lot of people are doing it now. I kind of wanted to create a closer relationship with my boyfriend, but then he kind of thought that once he got it once, he's going to get it often, and it got us closer, but we broke up after. Oh, he dumped her afterwards, uh, huh? He, was thought, he thought he was going to get it all the time. You know... God damn. It's a lot bitch like that. Get you, <laughs> she gives it to him once, and it's like, come on. Yeah, yeah. It's been five minutes. Yeah. Ladies, don't you know that's like feeding a puppy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you put milk outside the door, that dog ain't leaving. <laughs> right. And where, where would she record this? A daycare? What was going on in the I back? know. Did you hear one the, of the house parties? That was at. They went into yeah. uh, one of these house parties. That was a little house party going on oh. as they're talking about oral. Woo, how about that? But I thought my daughter was going to see Harry Potter. <laughs> they said they were going to go see Harry Potter. Harry Potter? I didn't know. Harry, Harry Poker. Potter. Harry Poker and the <laughs> Saucer's Bone. I never had reason to doubt her before this. <laughs> Harry Potter. The parents love when we do stuff like this. They love stories like this. Vinny! Yo, what's up, man? What's up? I got a 13-year-old son and a 17-year-old son. The only part is, like, the first time you catch him having sex, the first thing that goes to your mind is, oh, no! And then the second thing that goes to your mind is, oh, thank God, they're not gay! Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah. what, you... I, so it's, like, totally different, you know? If I had a daughter, tonight she'd be, like, handcuffed in the basement, and I'd be concreting over the door. She'd never get out. <laughs> but your 13-year-old, you know, has uh, had sex already? Uh, well, I know he's gotten something from somebody, because, uh... His his friends called him up one day and he's like, yeah, she was hot. She tasted nice too. So she I think nice. he was getting a little she, something. That could be anything though. Maybe a little nuzzle on the neck. Yeah, no. uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. it, it got it got a little uh, you got a little that? more graphic than that. I can't quite explain it to you. You yet. heard that from your thirteen year old. Yeah, he was talking on the phone. Well, Good a, boy, though. He's yep. going south yeah. already. He's a team player, that guy. That's yeah. nice. Uh, well, I got I called nice. my seventeen year old son in the back seat of my friggin' Mercedes in a goddamn garage. I go downstairs to get like a freaking 12 pack out of the garage. I open up the, the light case on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, because you can't say the T word. But Danger. They, they Danger. Saw feet up on the windshield and uh, a pair of her T's. Yeah, it just popped up. And I was like, the first thing that came in my mouth was, ah, he's having sex. And then it was like, but he's not gay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey God, he's not that. gay. Do we have gonna, do we have the clips from the middle school gay guys? All right. Hey, that girl. Uh, uh, no, he, I gotta go. You're talking about gay stuff. I don't even want to think about that. Right, Vinny. Vinny, the girl he was with didn't have a big back, did she? <laughs> no, oh, but sorry. she had a nice rack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vinny. Thank you. Vinny's, hey, hey. Vinny's right. My my big sex talk from my father. Yeah. My father walked in my room and went, Adam. Uh, don't kiss guys, huh? Please, Jesus <laughs> Christ. 
<laughs> that was the second That was it. I love Big it. Joe. <laughs> Big Joe. <laughs> Our buddy Nick Carter checking in. Nick. Nick. Holy effing garanimals, man. Did you see this special? Dude, you got to give it to HBO. Between this show and Oz, you can almost experience a weekend at Norton's house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> of course, from the comfort of your own home. <laughs> and the safety. Uh, you know, it, it, and the amazing thing about it, I heard you talking about this earlier, they didn't digitize any of the faces. You no. know, every single one of these kids is going to be reliving this show on an analyst couch for years to come. Hell yeah. Not only that, think of the action they're going to get now that it's been splashed all over uh, cable television, HBO, that they're goers, man. What about oh, yeah. oh, yeah. You know, they're going to be uh, checking in their email, you know, uh, do, 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 do we have anything, uh, any extra credit <laughs> homework? Hey, uh, what are you doing later on? Oh, I saw your TV appearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a 38-year-old man, <laughs> and I thought you were so hot on HBO. 33. Of course. <laughs> and, that, and, that's, and that's the neighbor. We're having a Grand Theft Auto 3 tournament over the house. How about if you come over for a little bit? <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's go, just, just for a second, go back to elementary school. I mean, think yeah. about it. I mean... You know, I mean, well, it was a good night. At the end of the night, if you went to a dance, you had your hands on some girl's ass. Yeah. That was about yeah. it. I know. That's I mean, now you feel like a loser if you didn't get laid. And if you'd known any of this was going on then, why would you even try to progress to high school? You'd stay in middle school. I went to plenty of parties uh, at that age. And parties that, you know, there was some drinking going on. Mm -hmm. Right. But nothing. Nothing, nothing like, like they this. were talking about last night. Going into rooms with the Hummers and stuff. Nothing like that. Uh, I was talking about this briefly earlier today on the show, and I, I mean, I'm like praying to the fertility god. Should the day come that I ever do have kids, if I have a little girl, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, I don't know how guys with girls that are uh, 13, 14 uh, are, are even dealing with life. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you got to figure, you got to figure every single uh, kid, especially little girls under the age of, uh, I would say, even 15 now, yeah. they're grounded for life. Even, you know, even the wallflowers. Anybody who saw that show, no, nope, you're not getting out of the house. Sorry. You just All your plans no. are canceled to get 30. Anytime if you're a father, and I can't even imagine, you know, and I don't want to. If you're a father of the, a girl that age and you've raised her all those years, and then you hear things and just are picturing her doing those things to some filthy C, <laughs> it's just like, yeah. it's got to kill you, guys. <laughs> guys, it's got to kill you. Well, oh. my first thought was, you know... Oh. My first thought was these kids, especially the little girls, especially the girl, the, the poor little thing with the braces. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like, does she even realize what she's saying? Yeah, no, you know, no. She will a couple of years from now. Yep. Somebody sits down and explains it to her. She just looks at this tape and says, oh, my God, what have I done? Daddy, with the, with the same eyes, she looked at you uh, all happy when you gave her that first Barbie doll on her birthday. <laughs> and she was wearing the little I'm eight-year-old tiara on her head, <laughs> princess dress for her birthday. It's the same eyes that are now spinning around giving the fish eye. As uh, <laughs> you're killing the fathers today, man. As she's getting a load of tapioca on the back. Every father driving home now. God damn it! I should have just given her a pony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. All right, boys, I had to go bathe in holy water and try to redeem myself. Oh, yeah, sure. Right on. Right there he goes. Our buddy, our pal, Nick Carter. Mm. God damn. From Boston. Isn't that just awful to think? And the father's out there right now. I don't know how you're driving with both hands over your ears. Going, <laughs> no, 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 no. La, 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 la. <laughs> hey, uh, Danny, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up? Hey, guys, what's going on? Hey. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in my parents' house, and I pick up the phone. This is what I hear. I hear my brother talking to his girlfriend. He goes, she goes to him, next time, I want to do it to you in the shower. Guys, they were 12 years old. Do it to you in the shower. That's great. There you go. 12 years old. But it's like Matthew McConaughey said in Days and Confused. It's what I love about these girls. I get older, they stay the same age. Oh, jeez. Take it easy, guys. Thank you, Danny. Remember uh, Daniela, the last girl that did the wiffle ball bat challenge, Anthony? Oh, yeah. She's on the line. Daniela. Hi, guys. Hey. What's up? Um, Actually, I think I have something to like blow all you guys away. Oh, 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 away. Good. Okay. So, like, all these girls, like, all right. Yeah. The first time I ever kissed a girl, like a heavy kissing girl, uh -huh. I was in kindergarten. Really? Her name was Janine. And you and her milk money. Kindergarten. I was, I was like five or six years old. What the hell possessed you guys to do that? It, you know what's funny? Like There's everyone... no wiffle ball bats around. <laughs> <laughs> that could be something you saw on television, you're imitating. Was it? No, I'm serious. Like, we, I would go, she would call in my house, and we'd like just start getting it on. 
in kindergarten. Five? I was five years old. What was, if you remember, please let us know, what was in your mind? What, what the hell, like, made you do that? I don't know. Like, I just found her so attractive, and, like, just one thing led to another. I remember I used to go over her house, and we used to just, like, do things. She used to come over my house, we used to do things. It was like a, like, like, it went on for, like, three weeks. And then she moved to Florida. A whirlwind affair. A whirlwind <laughs> affair. <laughs> but I still remember her fondly. <laughs> we were... Like, now I'm listening to all these, like, 13-year-olds talk about how like, they do oral and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, I think that's a that's a beautiful thing. Like, you know, if you're going to explore your sexuality like that, that's fine. Hey, so uh, w were you like that at uh, 13 or Oh, now? yeah. You were given the oral. Oh, definitely. And I was receiving it, too. Mm. I think Jump it's a beautiful in. thing, really. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Yeah. How about that? Look, everyone is silent, looking around. Aye, aye, what aye. the hell? Aye, five. Aye. Hell I don't on? get what else? five. But like, what were you guys like at thirteen? Like, it's, it's like it's something you do. I was nowhere near that. I was stage. whacking my bag. I yeah. was just introducing myself to myself. Wow. I was about. Yeah, it. I was. I was locked in my. I had a towel in my room I could use as a lampstand. <laughs> but that's horrible. You should have went out. Like, I'm sure if you guys went out and looked for girls to do that, they would have done it for you. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. No, we're, we're guys. Sure, that, sure. that ain't sure. I would, them is getting out. rid of all that evidence and the police coming over to investigate. <laughs> yeah, duct tape. Yeah, what bags. are you going to do? I'm there not digging was, a hole. Look, I'm not saying there was all kinds of experimentation going on with uh, the girls. There was like the kissing stuff. But at five years old, I mean, you like a girl, you just push them. You know, that's yeah, the that, that's range. fine. I kissed a girl. Yeah, I know you did. We we listened. <laughs> I am talking. <laughs> I remember uh, uh, when I was. It had to be at least eight years old or something. Mm -hmm. Making out in the yeah. basement of the apartment complex with a girl, mm -hmm. and it was like you know that that might as well have been sex because. It's all I know. Was she running her fingers through your afro? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. My Angela Davis afro. I right. went to the people afro. Thank you, Danielle. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Young Lawrence remember. Hilton Jacobs finds love. Yeah. <laughs> like, like. How many more clips we got? We only got three more to go. Only three? You want to try to uh, yeah, get we'll through this? Okay. Another clip on, uh, well, what a surprise, oral. Answer. More oral in uh, middle school. Giving has nothing to do with your body. They don't have to see you or feel you or judge you in any way. Mm. It's kind of like you're in control and stuff. Mm. I think I'd feel more comfortable with somebody that I wouldn't know because if I did it wrong, it's okay because I'm not going to see him again. <laughs> wow. Okay. All she had to say to that was a silver Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was that girl with the braces again. She's the 13-year-old with the braces uh, talking about how, <laughs> hey, she likes doing it. Uh, you, the guys don't have to touch her or see her body or anything like that because she, she said she's a little self-conscious. And uh, she prefers it with people she doesn't know because if you do it wrong, it doesn't matter. You don't have to see them again. <laughs> she's a glory hole. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, a glory <laughs> hole with shoes. That's it. It is. A glory hole with a bus pass. Yeah. A traveling glory hole. And for some reason, the parents felt it was perfectly fine to put her on uh, Very television. important that their daughter... That their daughter talk about what a whore slut she how really you, is. How do you do... Well, honey, I wanted her to take dance lessons, but if you think this is good for us, I'm going to sign away. She wants to act. <laughs> so she said she sucks what? Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll write that okay. Fine to air. Go ahead. There you go. That's my gal. <laughs> She's a kid, you know? Yeah. She's 12. Hello, Ringo. Rick, what's this uh, next clip? Uh, uh, Get this one. It's labeled not so good. <laughs> Oh, no, she's just talking about uh, something she did or whatever. Uh, right. Just a giggling loop. Not so good. She doesn't see, like, her 13-year-old girl. And especially being the youngest in the family, she sees me as being the baby, I think. And sometimes I feel as though I'm being treated like a baby, so I don't want her to know any of the things that I do that are not so good. Yeah, treated like the baby. Here's your binky. <laughs> <laughs> you need your binky. And one more clip, right? <laughs> and then we, are we coming back to uh, play the clips of the, the gay kids? And oh, sure. School? All right. I feel like I've completely lost all my innocence. When you're a little girl, you like, when you see kids on TV, you like, ugh. And like, when you do, you're like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Being intimate and oral with guys, it's just like, you're not that little girl that wear hair and pigtails and ate a cake with frosting all over her face. 
But, you know, you can't change the past, so I guess there's nothing I can do about it. That's the beginning of a porno movie. Yeah. It goes with the music and everything. The music goes into a dream sequence and it goes in on yeah. the strippers. All you need is Max Hardcore. That's it, you lady. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's it. Max yeah. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Either that or the other uh, video collection where you write the C word on her forehead and smack her in the face. But Max Hardcore is the originator of that guy, the whole. Uh, that genre. That genre. <laughs> what was that uh, series called? That was called Slap Happy. Slap, Slap Happy. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim Norton. Tim. Silly me. Tim, what's up? How you doing, guys? Hey, right. man. Uh, Long-time listener. Second-time caller. Uh, I've got oh, a crap. three-month-old, and what you guys are... A three-month-old daughter, and what you guys are talking about is absolutely scaring the hell out of me. you got a good four or five years before you have to start worrying, <laughs> oh, according to so some of our friggin' callers. I think I'm going to go and get the stapler out and staple up a few things. Uh. <laughs> Holy yes. <laughs> I don't know what you could possibly do, aside from moving to some barren wasteland in Alaska, uh, <laughs> and then she'd probably come home with a moose. I'm just thinking uh, there's nothing a guy can do if you have a daughter, because they come from the best of homes, they come from the worst of homes, the parents think they're doing a good job, the parents are doing a crappy job, and they wind up becoming doctors and, 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 and yeah. whatever. They do a great job, they rebel against the parents because they're giving them too much, and they become hose bags. There's no rhyme or reason to it, my friend. You just effed yeah. up, and, and one of those, uh, one of those uh, the Y chromosomes or something kind of... Being a good well, guys, parent it's, helps. Uh, certainly scary. You, you also remember when you were 14 trying to do anything and everything possible. Of course. That, and, and, boy, and it's only gotten worse. You have a daughter, that's for sure. All you right. remember knocking on some guy's door and asking for his daughter when you were a kid? <laughs> Never did that. Sorry, she's not home right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know the struggle. She's dodging me, too. All right, Tim, thank you. <laughs> hey, guys, have a good day. Bye. Oh, it, you stay in this room. Morons. I'm it, going to Cleveland to hand out stickers. You're not leaving until I get back. What's up there, Psycho Mark? No, I was going to say, the parents are morons. Who would ever put their daughter on national TV? Well, that's Retards. That's the point we're making. Retards. I mean, yeah, that uh, apparently you can see where they the went situation, wrong. That right. right. Dude, 13 or 14 years old, I mean, that is not even old enough to get into the stress factory this weekend. Oh, God. But it is old enough to watch television the tonight. At 9.30, the job would have a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> you whores, man. I, I You're just, bigger whores than these girls we've been listening to. The <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, I, I think our friends are starting to take uh, advantage of us. Ah, yeah, it's about to happen. God damn you, Adam. <laughs> We're so nice. <laughs> Freewheeling. <laughs> we allow our guests to freewheel. <laughs> and that's mm. what they use their time for. To plug their whorish gigs. Yeah. Right, I apologize. Oh, no. There are some really uh, hot stories coming in on instant feedback, <laughs> but <laughs> we're trying to uh, show some responsibility today with this subject. Dana from uh, Cleveland. So she uh, became uh, active at 10 mm -hmm. with digitally and uh, at 11 uh, orally with girls. Whoa. Whoa. 14. <laughs> uh, lost it to a boy. This is all on the instant feedback. Uh, yeah. And 17 uh, became oral with boys. Maybe she could come in. We could break out the lesbian crib. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, let's take a break. Let's take a break, everyone. And then uh, we come back. What do we got? The, uh, the gay guy clips from the uh, same series. Yeah, uh, with the middle school yeah. gay guys. Getting a lot of reaction today, Anthony. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Sick. Where? Craig, uh, line eight, national. Yeah. That's disturbing. This is obvi obviously a very touchy subject. One guy's really pissed off at us because he thinks uh, we're playing fake tapes, Anthony. Yeah, I know. He thinks we're playing fake tapes. He says uh, HBO would never put something like this on the air. Wake up and smell the coffee. It's a documentary. Uh, Stinky will uh, tell us when it's on next. You can, you can see it for yourself. Yeah, Bill's all upset. As a father of a 12-year-old girl, I find the subject matter over the line. Plus, this fake tape is ridiculous. HBO would never put this out. When you guys have kids, let's see you talk like this. You've oh. lost a listener. Oh, Bill, what brand of humor do you like? Bill, give me Victor Borga. 
Uh, Jim, I hate to tell you, but this isn't one of those humor segments. No. No. Oh. Bill is a little upset <laughs> that uh, not everything we do is humor. A little taste of reality <laughs> coming through. It's more like a taste of reality. HBO. Maybe we're waking up some parents. I don't know. Hey, who knows? That's humor as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what their stupid kids are doing. It's not my problem. Yeah, who cares? Be better parents. Hey, my kids. Will from Badass <laughs> Buffalo writes, Anthony, so how much lower is HBO going to sink? What's on the table next? Nursing home confessions <laughs> or choir boy confessions? Here's a guy checking in saying, uh, I have an 11-year-old daughter. If I find out she's <laughs> well, well, giving hummers, sure. there's going to be some missing kids in the neighborhood. See, there's somebody who uh, be a little proactive. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to rack some head. Wouldn't you be proactive if you had a daughter? No, I would never. I would, I, I would lose my effing I mind. You know something? The guy's right in one sense, and that is that we don't know what it's like. And That's I true. thank God. I don't want a daughter. Oh, you just know that that time is coming. That time's coming. That knock on the door, the effing degenerate on the other side. Hey, man, don't hassle me. Uh, is, is, insert your daughter's name, here. Honey, Tommy Chong's here to pick up Stacy. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, is your daughter home, man? <laughs> hey, get out of here. <laughs> if you can find better, F <laughs> it. If there's we got big, bull, small. We got old bull, young bull. Can't say the word. From uh, <laughs> Dust Till Dawn. Great. Hey, Rich. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to add? How you guys doing tonight? Yeah. Uh, well... You know, I was I was listening to the uh, girl who called in about the wiffle ball bat. Remember that show a while ago? Yeah. Which um, you know, she's got some talent, I see. But when she started talking about it when she was in kindergarten, yeah, making out with a girl. You know, I have a one-year-old son at home, and I'm sorry, but if my son does that before the age of like twenty, I'm pulling it off. Twenty. Well, twenty. Uh, 20. 13, Thirteen is a little ridiculous. Nah. Sorry, when I was thirteen. I was 13 years old. I was playing, you know, hockey and football. I wasn't worried about this stuff. Yeah, but dudes, kids play doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing, sir. Kids play uh, doctor and stuff like that. I mean, even when I was younger, that's, you know, that was pretty common when you were really young. You played doctor and do stuff like that. That's you, crazy. You know, you, you find a, the, a girl in class and yeah. do a little show and show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? You might pull the pants down. Show heinies. Yeah, yeah, sure. I realized I loved asses at that age. I'm telling you, a girl took me in the woods. I was in second grade. She was in third. And no one yeah. uh, Jim, no one's surprised. But, but I mean, it's not yeah. uncommon. You don't like, have to work it, trust it's me. Not, it might not be uncommon, but I tell you, it's, it's a mm -hmm. horrifying thought. God forbid I have a girl. And no. the shallow grave still there, uh, Norton? No, <laughs> I didn't. I was too young. I'd All right, Rich, thank you. Thanks, shy God. little fella. Shy <laughs> little fella. <laughs> Let me go to Mike. Mike, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Owen? Hey. First time call, a long time listener. Mike, right. Mike. <laughs> Listen, I want to know these guys whoa, from from whoa. HBO. How do they confront these kids? I mean, with a camera, what do you do? Uh, well, they obviously. Uh, what do you got... think about a BJ? No, you know? well, they. Well, first of all, they're going to dump out of that. So, are they? Dun, 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 yeah, I like that word. Uh, first of all, they're getting the you know the parents to write off on this. I mean, what parent in their right mind? Would we'll do that. Uh, none. There's no way. Right. That, no. There's no way a documentary, uh, you know, crew could just go to a middle school and say, "Hey, we're going to ask uh, these type of questions." Without no, they'd be getting arrested. the parents involved and having the parents, you know, sign away their rights. Yep. Before they showed them what the kids said, I bet they signed. Like, Unreal. Uh, question. And another thing, I mean, I mean I'm uh, like 27 years old. Where were these girls when I was growing up? <laughs> that's what. I, I mean, really. That's what everyone's saying. All right, <laughs> All right Mike. Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks. Take it easy, man. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, Jesus, it'll be on HBO Family East and West. It's on the uh, HBO Family. HBO Family. Holy yes. HBO Family. It's a teaching tool. Right. It's like scared straight. <laughs> it's going to be on uh, January 21st, 12:55 a.m. Mm -hmm. You guys can look this stuff up yourself. Yeah, you don't have to convince Bill that it's real tape. Too there's, bad. There's like 10 uh 10 more showings. 10 more. Are you serious? What? Wow. For us slow people out there over the age of 30, can you please explain, as only you can, what digits mean? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> God. J Jay? Are you insane? You can't figure out what digits mean? It's pretty self-explanatory. A digit is your finger. Yeah. How do you, you have ten of them? No make, make a fist and punch yourself in the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Some people. All right, Rick, let's move on. To He's the... got ten on one hand. He's a freak. we got to get through the rest of these clips. Yeah, let's... We're uh, running out of time. This is, uh... These are uh, kids talking about being gay in middle school. Ah! The gay clip. Uh, there was one guy... Just when your uh, parents out there thought it couldn't get any worse. Here you go. I felt, uh... <laughs> I felt bad for the guy. Um... You know, and and it's fine. We we joke a lot about the whole gay uh, thing on this program. We've been accused of many things, um, but the truth of the matter is, the kids gay. It's it's got to be rough for the kid first mm -hmm. of all, mm -hmm. and um, it's regardless of of how much love the parent has for the kid, it's rough for the parent. You know, you're a guy. They have a picture of this kid and his father at Shea. I guess it's a Met yeah. fan. You, you 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 have dreams of your kid be becoming a sports star or something like that, and he could still be a sports star. Yeah, yeah but you know figure something, skater. it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, figure skater. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There are gay guys in every professional sport out there. I understand that. You know what I'm getting at. It's just disappointing as a parent to know that your son is hobbing a knob. Sorry, it's pretty much it. You know, you want to picture your. Your uh, son going to the prom with a beautiful gal. <laughs> you now don't want to have going that. to a, to the prom with a guy named Doug. <laughs> right, Doug's coming over and pinning the corsage on your son's chest. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> your son's meaty chest. Uh, son's meaty chest. Yeah. Bye, kids. Have fun. You're lending him the car so him and Steve can go parking. <laughs> Get in that limo. Oh, please. Well, here's the Your father. son comes home. You turn on a black light. It looks like an explosion at Peter Max's house. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's always got black eyes because the boys catch him peeking in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids aren't very sensitive to uh, gay kids in school. No. Know what I mean? Uh, this is the father's reaction we got queued up. Oh, the exact clip you were talking about. We do? Oh, no. <laughs> the father's, uh, the father's oh. reaction. Oh, no. Here <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're short. Here we go. When he first had come out to me, first thing I did was what any husband does in the world. They go to their wife and say, well, okay, well, what now? I know uh, plenty of gay people. And I don't classify them as this is my gay friend, that's my gay friend. They're just friends. Oh, yeah, well, this one might be gay. And that was, I don't care, you know. But all of a sudden, now it's my son. Now that ball did the hell out of me. Why is it it's okay for everybody in the world but my son. Oh, not my boy. Well, because it's your boy. Because now you're getting those images in your head. It's fine when it's somebody else, but the second you have the image of your son doing that stuff, eh, it might be a little disheartening. Because you'd be watching a porno thinking my kid would whack his bag watching this <laughs> thinking of being in the other position. Right. <laughs> you don't want to think that How as a parent. How could I ever talk to my son about lesbians? <laughs> And there's family functions. He's bringing the, the guy over. Uh, oh, this not is, the guy. This what is my I, roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is my friend. I, I, you know something? There was... Um, and as the years go by, he breaks up with the friends. He brings another guy. Whatever happened to Trevor? I liked him. There was, this, uh, there was a, a gay guy in uh, our family on, on my father's side. And uh, the, the mother just never wanted to accept it. And any time we would go over there for, for a Christmas function and all the relatives around, she would be like, this is uh, Anthony and, and his friend, his good friend. Like he's just bringing a pal over the house every yeah. Christmas. No girlfriend, no nothing. Just a friend. Yeah. Never accept the fact that later on in the evening. Yeah. You know what's going on with his pal? <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, um, Anthony? Yeah. I got another clip of a uh, father reacting to oh, the whole gay right? thing. When he found out, okay? Okay. Have you ever done anything in your long and storied career that you consider specifically to be in bad taste? As you look back on it. Maybe at the time you thought it was a good play, but you look uh, back on it and you think that was in bad taste. Well, sometimes, like in stand-up, I'll do jokes that are, uh, that I, like one time I was doing this thing in San Francisco and they were all gay uh, people in the audience, they told me. So I figured I'd do In San Francisco? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I figured I'd do stuff about gay people so that they could relate to Yeah, it. it's warm up. Right. <laughs> That. And so I was talking about, because I went to this gay pride parade, and I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, we are proud of our gay son, you know? And so I was saying, that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know? It's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. 
And I, I just wondered, I just, I, I had a hard time believing that these 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging, you know, at work like they're, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid, oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know, a first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm and, uh, oh yeah, he loves He can't get enough in his mouth, his ass, his kids always talk. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man. I want to show you. God damn. It takes uh, forever, but yeah, man, it's yeah, worth the trip. Yeah. Articling over in the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very right. proud of the boy. Yeah. Hey, you want to make out? <laughs> <laughs> More clips from middle school confessions. Yeah, the show that was on HBO. Another clip about um, uh, a gay uh, about a, yeah, gay people. Yeah. This is the son of the father that yeah. had the reaction. Ah, oh. right. I knew since like last year. That's a boy. Because I would look at a guy and I'd be like, "He's pretty cute," but I wouldn't have any feelings for a girl. All right, am I just going crazy? Or, I really like this. Or... Okay, terrific. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Maria, what's going on? Hi, guys. I've been biting my tongue on the bus for like an hour waiting to get in my car and call you guys. Norton, my apologies, but what these kids are doing is totally wrong. No, I, I agree. Oh, yeah? Okay. I mean, yeah, no, it's horrible. But moreover, I'm, I'm, well, these kids... I don't think they can, they feel like they can be honest with their parents, in other words. Like, in my house, with my parents, we were always completely, well, not 100%, but, yeah. you know, relatively honest. Like, my parents knew what was going on in my life. This was unheard of. This is absurd. It's disgusting. I used to babysit for this girl. She won't tell me a single thing about what she's doing in high school because she's afraid that I'm going to go back to her mom and tell You're her what's out. going on. You're yeah, a rat. Exactly. Smart no, girl. Well, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> But yeah. anyway, well, it's happening, so it's it's awful. Well, I hope gonna... I never have children. Right, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. well, the hell I think the gay kids are pretty honest with their parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's another uh, gay kid. Something tells me you got to get that out of the way pretty early. The second you realize that you're a gay guy, yeah. you know, even if you're in middle school or something, you better get that uh, smoothed over with the parents right away. You know, before they catch you. <laughs> That's got to, you know, imagine the guy that went you know, to the even car the, and saw his son having sex with a girl. If all of a sudden, you know, hey, Johnny, what are you doing in the car with my boy? You know, the guy gets up and it's uh, another guy. Oof. Oh. That's worse than just hearing it. That's a lot of denial. Listen, well, uh, I don't know who you are and what you've done with my son, but <laughs> get out of my car. <laughs> what happened there? Well, let's check out another clip. All right. Gay hey, middle schooler. Yeah. Where'd you get your nails done? Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, I am. I'm. I'm feminine. I'm very feminine. Now I admit it. I don't care. About, I'm feminine. He's feminine. I think he's coming in Friday from Philly. From Philly, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> nice callback. <laughs> All right. Well, what? Same kid. Same kid. I want to tell my father everything, right? I do, cause I lost my virginity at the age of thirteen. Okay. Uh -oh. Damn. <laughs> yeah, and I want to tell my father everything like yeah I lost my virginity to this guy he looked good he's like wait wait oh, he'll boy. drag me out the house we'll be going to the clinic like that like that's not going to happen well he knows now <laughs> lost his virginity <laughs> does he mean pitching or catching what do you think well, you know the dads and the daughters now are at least going, well, at least the kid's not a fag. <laughs> <laughs> now look at the upside. <laughs> and here's uh, the lesbian chick from uh, middle school. The one that looks like a, a small version of Stalker Patty. This was a little, like, one of those little wiry, red-haired glasses girls that you would just write off as a library nerd kid. Looked a lot younger than the rest of them. And she it turns out she uh, knows already she likes girls. It's really hard to be alone in middle school if you're gay because, like, I was alone in sixth grade. I had no idea that, like, there was anyone else out there who was just like me. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Shana na 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 When it's time to be gay. She's gonna grow up and look like Velma from Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah. Joe. Hey guys. What are you doing, man? How you doing, man? I got both hands on the steering wheel here. All right. I got a nine year old boy and I got a twelve year old girl. Could you imagine the parties they're gonna have? <laughs> you have a twelve-year-old uh, daughter. Yeah. So what? What do you do? You, do you pay attention to what she's doing? Do oh you know? yeah. Oh yeah. Really? Well, we got we got her boyfriend Mauricio. What? And she wants to inter, you know email this kid all the time, and I'm saying no, no way. A boyfriend no way. Uh, at twelve there, and um, you're fine yep. with that. No man, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm up for this man. Oh boy. And then and my son, my son, check this out. He's in the school. Yeah. He's. He's one of six boys out of 14 girls. What do you think of the odds there are? Mm, there you go. All right, Joe. All right, guys. Thanks a lot, man. Joe's uh, giddy over the subject today. Yeah, Joe seems to find some humor in it. <laughs> Robin, what's up from D.C.? Hi. Um, I was just uh, wanting to respond uh, about the uh, little girls being gay. Yeah. Um, my daughter's 10, and she has a little girl that's in her class that's pretty much told her that she's in love with her and um, plays with her hair and my daughter doesn't know what to do. Um, she tells her to leave her alone, but um, the little girl's pretty much um, got it in her head that Courtney is her girlfriend. So, oh my God. How does that make you feel? What do you do? Um, I just keep telling her to tell the little girl that she's not interested, that she likes boys and so I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I didn't wow. know that in elementary school. This is elementary school. Um, that little girls knew that they liked other little girls. My my daughter doesn't even uh, think about um, uh, little boys right now. I mean, she's right. Not just a kid. Sure. Yeah. Miss, couldn't you go to the principal or something if she's bugging her? Um, I, I thought about doing that, but, um, I thought, um, kids will be kids, and, um, as long as Courtney keeps pushing her away. That's a touchy situation, though. You don't want to yeah. F the other kid up for the rest of her life by, you know, oh, my God, what are you doing? Don't talk to girls, blah, 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 you know? And then they're all yeah. twisted. And, um, now, uh, listening to the tapes, I'm going to have to start watching her. She'll be 11 soon, and, uh, I'm thinking, uh... <laughs> and I have a, uh, another daughter. I have two daughters, in fact. So hey, good luck to you. I'm worried about both of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> good luck to you. All right, Robin. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Hear it, hear it in the parents' voices today, huh? Oh, uh, a lot of these yeah. parents. Joe, before yeah, but, that but was laughing. But these are fake tapes, Ant. They're fake yeah. tapes, sure. Joe, before that was laughing, Yeah. he uh, emailed quickly. He wants to uh, clear things up. He's giggling and laughing because that's the effects of carbon monoxide in a closed garage. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> he's kinda, you go through that phase right before you die. Jim, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. What are you guys doing? Uh, what's, what's the matter? Uh, I have four girls. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. You should, uh, you should quit your job show, today. Guys. Thanks a lot for the show. I've got yeah. a 12 and a 10 year old. Oh boy. Well, what do you think? What do you think, man? Well, I don't know. I'm driving. I don't know if I'm going to go home now. Do you keep an eye on them? Do you but, know what they're doing? I'm going to know more now. Mm. <laughs> I've got a Did 10 year old they... who has this little boyfriend from next door. Uh huh. And uh, he's nine and ten, or nine or ten. He's yeah. not coming over anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, they, do you make sure they're not alone in rooms and stuff like uh, that? They have been. Oh, boy. Let me tell you, things go on when that happens. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Now I know. Does she have a computer with an email account and whatnot? No, 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 no. The computer's down in the family room. Uh, they can't oh, get Oh, there you go. No, I keep, it, keep an eye on that, but that's, uh, all of that's going to change. I, yeah, right. I've, uh, you know. I don't know what to do. You guys, uh... Well, we didn't you mean have a to depress everyone today. Yeah. You, you got a minivan it. and a lake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I live near a lake. I'm thinking about just dropping into it and drowning myself. There you go. All right, yeah. Whatever works. <laughs> Thanks for uh, thanks for calling, man. Full we'll bathtub. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it takes. That Andrea Yates, what a card. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are saying what uh, Bill wants to say here. Bill, what's yeah. up? Hey, I'm, uh, I'm kind of curious. I'm 26 years old right now. And uh, about 13, 14 years ago, when I was 12, 13, I had no idea what a homosexual was. Yeah. See, I, I, where the hell did these kids get the idea of a homo homosexuality? What is going on? And uh, well, currently, um, where they at? Where they at? At 12 years old, uh, if if someone was gay, 
It just meant they were gay. It wasn't homosexual. It was, you don't be a faggot. Don't yeah. be gay. That's so gay. You know, you threw the word around when the kid was being a dick or something, you know? Well, look at this God, week. Faggot, don't be gay. Two years before you hit puberty, all you did was hang out with boys. You didn't even know what a girl was at that time. Mm, what happened well, with that one period, one, uh, one year period? Some of those boys <laughs> liked being with the boys a little, a little more than you did. Those are the boys who didn't want to leave the party. Right. Was it the, was it the touch football? Did they take it a little too seriously? Well, who knows? True. All right, kind of Bill. odd. Kind of odd. Thank Very you, Bill. touchy. Supposed to put the little flag in your belt, not tie it around your helmet, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> tea bag, yo. Tea bag. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. What's up, yo? Tea? How much you think these parents got paid? I don't know. These are, these are pimp parents. They just pimped them to HBO. Hey, you know something? If they did get any money for this, it is pimping. They're pimping out their kids, talking about sex in a uh, titillating way. Uh, it's only gonna, yeah, it's only gonna get worse for these kids now, yeah, man. Of course it is. Well, Doggy. How can they show their faces in school? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Gregorio! Antonio! Amy!